Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I am your host, Wolf Straff. On this episode, I am going to be talking about Indiana Jones and the Sky Pirates. This book was written by Martin Kaiden and is the first in the Indiana Jones book series to not be written by Rob McGregor. And uh, it came out in 1993 and I believe the book takes place in 1930, even though... I don't recall them actually saying that, but basically it's in the early 1930s and a bunch of crazy things are happening around the world involving UFOs and unexplained aircraft and just all kinds of crazy shit. Basically, these guys are taking out trains and other airplanes and ships and taking their valuable cargo and nobody knows what the hell's going on. So the British Secret Service gets into contact with Indiana Jones and brings him in. And they also go in contact and bring in a lot of other people who are very well experienced in certain fields like pilots and espionage people and uh, commando types and assassins and stuff. And they basically build a team to find out who the hell these people are and what the hell are they doing. Like, are they aliens? Are they working for the Nazis? I mean, who are these people stealing all this stuff? So it's really cool, and it definitely has, like, a World War II feel to it, and it also reminds me of, like, the Dirty Dozen and the Guns of Navarone, you know, basically building a team and going on a mission. It definitely has that feel to it. So, yeah, it's a pretty good book. Um, I think the climax at the end is kind of, eh. But there's a lot of memorable stuff in this, like a lot of aeronautical stuff. Um, well, it helps that the writer, Martin Kaiden, is a very experienced pilot. This guy's a badass. In fact, reading his bio was one of the most interesting parts of the book. And he's just a genius when it comes to anything aeronautical. And that definitely comes through in the book, just describing how it feels to fly one of these old-fashioned planes. And just all the technology at the time and stuff. I mean, it really is interesting. The story is kind of thin. I mean, there's not really a lot of interesting stuff in the story, but the characters are kind of cool, and the new woman in Indy's life is kind of interesting, Gail Parker. I think she's going to be around for maybe a couple more books. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, kind of a good old-fashioned espionage slash almost science fiction kind of story. But it's much more grounded in reality than a lot of Rob McGregor's stuff. Like, Indy's not hallucinating and dreaming up Merlin and stuff like that. No, this is strictly, straight up, espionage, airplane, crazy stuff like that. So, yeah, nothing too out of this world other than the UFOs. But you'll see what those are eventually if you read the book. But yeah, overall, I think this is pretty good, and I definitely look forward to the next book. I think this was book number seven, so the next one is eight, and it sounds pretty good. It's called The White Witch, or Indiana Jones and the White Witch. So yeah, that should be pretty good, and uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm probably not going to remember too much from it, other than a few moments, but uh, overall, yeah. It's all right. I would probably say it's maybe the third best Indiana Jones book so far. So, yeah, check it out if you want to.